Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, today, slightly different intro, um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a traditional food haul this week. Um, normally I record my food hauls on a Saturday and they go up the following Sunday, so they're a week behind. Darwin's playing with a toy. Um, however, um, today is Tuesday. Yesterday, which was Monday, I tried to place my online order um, for Saturday and basically computer said no. Uh, Sainsbury's, where we live, aren't letting any bookings for the next four weeks. Um, Morrison's wouldn't let, uh, the earliest they could do an order was the following Wednesday, as there was the following Thursday. Tesco's, I think it was a two week wait. So, as such, don't think we'll be having a traditional, my normal food haul uh, this week. Um, I'm not too panicked because we have stuff in the freezer, we have stuff in the cupboard, um, but it just depends how long this carries on for. Um, and then as of um, on Monday, uh, the government made an announcement that people deemed vulnerable um, as of uh, the weekend need to go on a 12 week lockdown. Uh, pregnant people, which I am, are classed as vulnerable. So I think I am working up until Friday and then I'm in lockdown. So uh, obviously John could go and do the grocery shopping um, if there are any groceries there. I think Instagram and Facebook and social media on the whole is full of people sharing pictures of empty shelves. So today, um, when I was at work, I nipped out at lunch time. Lunch time, I had to pick up aspirin. My my midwife has advised me to take aspirin, and you, I think I went to six different shops, and lucky number six had two packs, and I took the last two. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you the bits I've got, and then if we pick up anything else this week, I can include it. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, I will show you the bits I've got today. So yeah, it's not nutritional <laughs> at all. And we're very lucky because we can get egg, eggs, bread and milk from John's shop. So, you know, we won't starve or die. But from Poundland, I got myself a deodorant because I'm going to run out soon. I got some of these Duo chocolate flavoured filling biscuits. They remind me very much of ones we had when we were in Poland. John really likes them. I like them too. These are yummy if you've not tried them. Again, Poundland Mint Malteser Buttons. They're so good. I recommend. I got two of these. These were 50p each. I thought when I am working from home, uh, these might be a good easy lunch. Just chicken and mushroom flavour pasta. Say so 50p each. Winning. Um, next, I went to the co-op on the hunt for aspirin and they didn't have any. Um, but they did have this stuff, which I really love on toast. I know it's a bit of an old-fashioned thing to, to like. I don't think John does, but I really like this stuff on toast. And I believe, where's the date? Yeah, they last forever, December 22. <laughs> so, you know, but I'll probably end up eating this on toast this weekend. So I've got a salmon paste and a chicken paste. I like those. I like crab, but they didn't have the crab one there. And then I also got some sweeties, um, two packs of Parma Violets and a pack of Refreshers. Not going to lie, I actually had two packs of Refreshers, but I ate one. Um, they were four for a pound from the co-op. And then the last shop I tried was Superdrug. They did have aspirin. I think these were like 40p a pack. Um, so yeah, that will last me for a, a month because I'm only taking one of these a day, like the midwife said. But yes, that is the first part of my little grocery haul. Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, another day, another tired looking Katie. Today is Wednesday. Um, I've been at work today. Uh, tomorrow is my last official day of working um, and then I'm on lockdown. Um, I did pick up a couple more bits today, um, so I thought I'd show you them and add them to the food haul. Also, John is going to try and get a couple of bits on the way home so if he's successful there'll be a second bit from Wednesday but yeah I'll jump right in and show you what we got so I went to the Polish shop today or Polski Sklep um, 
and picked up a few bits. They were like a hidden little treasure. They didn't have a whole lot of their fresh food. Normally they have a really great selection of fresh things, but the dried section and the freezer section was looking rather luscious. Um, so I bought a small bag of pasta. They had so much pasta there. Um, and this is 99p or 98p. Uh, for 250 grams so yeah normal situation you'd be able to get cheaper but yeah you know seeing where that most of Cornwall doesn't seem to have pasta they had loads I was tempted to buy loads but then I'd be bad as the stockpilers so I just picked up the one bag I did go back to the office and tell everybody so I think they are going to have a few visits <laughs> from uh, my team today or tomorrow I got two jars of gawompki uh this is cabbage um like cabbage rolls that are filled with meat and served in a tomato sauce haven't tried this brand before we normally have hang on i've got an empty jar we normally have this brand which you can sometimes get in big tesco so if you see it it's good um but yeah uh john can eat a whole jar in one sitting um so i got two they were their standard price they hadn't put the price up so this was like i think they were one pound fifty each and then dream of dreams they had both types of the pierogi that we like so um they did also have it fresh um but i kind of wanted frozen so uh we got the frozen potato dumplings with pork and potato dumplings with cheese and onion um, I think these, again, they were like £1.50 each. Uh, John can make pierogi, but it's the problem of trying to get the ingredients at the moment. So, got to do what you can do. But yeah, um, I think normally we would probably eat both as one meal. But I think we'll probably be able to pack it out with like peas or veg and have one meal as that and one meal as that. So that's pretty good. Uh, I picked up some stock cubes because they are a saving grace. You know, you got some boring rice, cook it with some stock, got some, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Stock cubes can do so much. So I got a pack of them. Um, and that was everything I got from the Polish shop. And then I just went to Wilco's to actually get a sandwich for my lunch. Uh, the queue was hideous. People were rude. Um, but I picked up John a deodorant because I was meant to get one yesterday and I forgot. Not his normal deodorant, but they didn't have any. So that's what he's having. And then I am still suffering with nausea. Um, thanks, baby. Uh, fizzy, sour things help. And um, I wasn't brave enough to get pick a mix because you don't know whose fingers have been in there. So I got one of these. And they're like 80 i think that was a pound and that was like 89p so yeah that's what i picked up today hey guys so it's still wednesday uh john's home with his bits and bobs uh, he went to pets at home and got a giant bag of dry dog food which is too heavy for me to put up on the worktop but trust me he bought a giant bag of dog food um and then he went to morrison's he said he got in <laughs> out in and out quite easily there's a lot of people there, there's not a whole lot of stock. Um, so yeah, but I will show you what we've got. So, not something that we do normally. Um, this is actually from John's shop. We don't, if you watch my normal hauls, you'll know that we normally take our stock from, like, if it's for the house, I buy it with the groceries. We don't very regularly take things from the shop. Um, but today <laughs> is a must. So yeah, John brought home toilet roll. Um, from his business um he owns a shop if you if you don't know um but yeah that's from there from morrison's he brought home two bottles of pepsi this may seem a little bit extravagant with everything that's going on um but i really like cola but i really need things to be caffeine free so he's got two of those um and then a frozen box of potato waffles and something else that I'm loving at the moment, Heinz baked beans with pork sausages. Yum. Um, so he spent £5.60 in Morrison's. And then this was free. A friend of ours, I think we think we're already in lockdown. Um, but yeah, they dropped off two Krispy Kreme donuts at John's work today. Um, there isn't, I don't think there is a Krispy Kreme in Cornwall. Um, but 
there is one in Devon and I think he has to go through that kind of way to come home from work he's in the navy so yeah kindness of of friends really yeah donuts donuts waffles beans and coke <laughs> oh. Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today is Thursday. It is my last day at work. Tomorrow I am officially working from home for 12 weeks. I am on isolation or so, so social distancing or whatever they call it, 12 weeks from home. Um, so tonight, um, I normally finish work about half five. Uh, didn't get done till half six. Uh, John picked me up because I had loads of files and things to bring home and uh, we decided it was best to attempt Sainsbury's and we had a rather successful trip. Lots of empty shelves but still lots of stuff there. Um, much better, John was saying it's much better than Morrison's that he went to last night. Spent £71. Um, so some of it we need to be a little bit flexible with but I think it's what everyone has to do now. Um, but yeah. I'll show you what we got. Okay, so there's our little overview. I also have some extra bits that have been brought home. But I'll do that at the end. So yes, Sainsbury's. Um, John got his mum a Mother's Day card. My mum's already been given hers because I saw her last weekend. Thank goodness, because um, she is on lockdown now because she is over 70 and hasn't got the greatest health. Um, so I'm glad I got to see her in person to give her her Mother's Day card, but John, um, still sees his mum quite regularly, so that's for her. Uh, <laughs> vanity, I know, but I bought myself a hair dye. I don't need to do my roots yet, and I don't intend to do them for the 13, or sorry, 12 weeks that I am on isolation, but just so I don't look completely horrendous when I go back to work, I thought that was a good idea. Um, we got a little bag of sugar. Um, we normally have sweetener in the house, but I thought this was multi-purpose, so if I needed to put it in tomatoes for a pasta sauce, or if I'm going to do baking, you know, it's probably good to have some form of sugar at home. Tesco, oh sorry, Sainsbury's even, barbecue sauce. This is my favourite barbecue sauce, and they had loads of it, so I grabbed one. Um, yeah, uh, I can't believe it's not butter light, because I needed butter. Two more of the caffeine-free Diet Pepsi. It's my favourite Pepsi. Um, Tesco's... I keep on saying Tesco's. We never shop there. Sainsbury's had a lot of things on that you could only buy two of anything, any one thing. So we would have bought more of that probably. But we have to follow the rules. Um, we've got a pack of yoghurt. These are low-fat red fruit. They're strawberry, raspberry and black cherry. We've not tried them before, but I'm sure they're good. They had a nice date on it. 4th of April, so they last a while. Then we've got two of, you know, we've got some really good yummy things. We've got two of these Reese's Pieces peanut butter eggs. And they also had loads of these. These are the Sainsbury's Taste of Different Triple Cooked Chips. John loves these. Um, we're actually have these for dinner tonight. Um, they don't have great dates on, which is probably why there was loads of them. But yeah, having that. Um, the only bag of potatoes in the entire of Sainsbury's. It was really funny what veg and fruit you could get and what they had none of. They had like a million mushrooms, like all the mushrooms in the world. Last bag of potatoes. Um, and they're not giant, but you know, they'll be all right. Uh, we've got some grated Parmesan cheese, just cause I literally used the last of this last week. It's a good thing to have to add a bit of flavor got some tomato puree, got two packs of mushroom rice, almond milk. John has almond milk in his morning smoothies. We normally get unsweetened. They didn't have any. So we got sweetened, you know, so you've got to be flexible. We've got a fresh garlic bulb and then we also got some garlic puree. Pu pu oh, I can't speak. Puree. Um, again, it's just great. If you're doing really basic pasta, like with chopped tomatoes or something, this a bit of this a bit of sugar a squidge of that and it can just lift it a little bit then we've got we've got two packets of this i'm not sure what the other packet is but two packs of egg fried rice we've got the puppy dogs some dental sticks 
We've got a meat pizza, which is again for tonight with the chips. Basically, it's late and we need some convenience food. Um, Snacker Jacks in chocolate chip. As I'm going to be working from home, I am a grazer, so this seemed like a good choice. Uh, and then crisps, same reason, working from home. So these are the 25% less salt, so they look good. And then we've got some Hobnob snack bars. Uh, not obviously i'm a big red onion fan um they didn't have many they also ha didn't have any paper bags or plastic bags that you could put them in so you had to pay for one of these but they're reusable it was like 30p so that's fine so i've got some red onions these bad boys are amazing i was really happy that they had again they had loads of these on the shelf um these are mint polar bear chocolate sandwich bars they're like mint penguins they're epic um obviously i'm still on decaf but the lady was literally putting this on the shelf as we was walking past it it is john's favorite this is what he has when we go to starbucks um and obviously we can use it on the machine and also on his pour over thing so got that not a whole lot of meat but we've got some black pudding um both of us like it cucumber We've got some of the Heck Reduced Fat Sausages. I've not had these. We normally have the 97% Heck Sausages. They didn't have any. Um, they had these and they had loads of the chicken ones. So I'm going to say nobody likes the Heck Chicken Sausages. But we thought we'd try these. Got some squash because I drink a lot of squash. Uh, our normal big bag of crisps that we have either on a Saturday or a Sunday. Uh, cocktail Sausages for Darwin and Gilly. They had one pack. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to find some more of those from somewhere. Loads of hot crust buns. Me and John really like those. These are quite expensive, but... Um, so we've got a slow-cooked uh, pork bite with uh, barbecue sauce. 16th of April, so it lasts ages. Just so you're aware, at the point of recording this, it is the 18th of March. So, really good date. And then this one here is a british chicken breast with bacon and mushroom sauce again 14th of april really good date i'm running low on my pink salt they literally had sea salt crystals this is the cornish sea salt company they had this or some jamie oliver's some jamie oliver salt which was like four pounds so i picked up this i don't even know if it's going to fit in my grinder but we'll give it a go Grated low-fat cheese, um, and then, oh, there's the other egg fried rice. Again, a good date on it, 28th of April. This issue is the moment you open it, it goes off, but I'm going to have to put it in Tupperware or something. Uh, mozzarella, and then we got some sauces for stir-fries, but it might be used on something else. So we've got a teriyaki ginger, which we both like, and then this is John's favourite. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we got a... I thought we got a sweet and sour. Um, katsu curry, which we both like. And then the last thing from Sainsbury's was crab paste, which is for me. <laughs> so yeah, that was all 71 quid. And then um, from John's shop, he uh, brought home some eggs and some bread. Yum. And then he bought me a case of these, which I'm not normally... Uh, we'd never normally take a case of something off the shelf, uh, but these are Heinz sausages with beans in, which is a current obsession of mine. They're like, I'm going to actually say I go as far as that these are a craving, so he did that. What any good husband of a pregnant woman would do, <laughs> he got me some. And then he also went back to Pets at Home um, and got wet dog food. This is the James Well Beloved in Turkey. Technically, um, Gilly isn't a senior uh, but Darwinism, this is what they had and we know it's okay on their tummy so yes, that is our food so yeah, that's our groceries didn't get everything we wanted um, but then picked up things that I didn't think they'd have so that's fine um, I, last night I kind of John and I went through the freezer, pulled everything out wrote everything down uh, we have a lot of <clears throat> um, a lot of proteins in there so um, it was more about finding things to make those proteins into a meal um, and I'm quite happy with what we have picked up um, 
Yes, and again, I don't think anyone could say that we have panic bought. I kind of think the only thing maybe we could be accused of hoarding is the beans and sausages, but it came from John's shop that he owns, so it's at us, out of his stockroom and you know I'm pregnant and I really really like beans and sausages <laughs> um so hopefully I can be forgiven for that but everything else we've kind of done I think no no more than what we would have bought on a normal week um so yes that is our groceries I hope you're all okay I hope that you have access to everything you need um or at least the ability to be flexible <laughs> And um, yeah, it's really hard right now and, and life is scary and I think I might be insta-storying a lot because I'm going to be lonely at home for 12 weeks lockdown. But yeah, I hope you're all okay and I will talk to you in the next one.